Yeah, I am radical. <laughs> <laughs> I do okay. believe that we need to get radical about what we are doing and right. take it seriously. Congressional Democrats are in a bit of a bind, answering for Vice President Harris's shift away from her liberal positions from her last presidential run. I don't think she's abandoning her ideals. I think she's trying to be pragmatic and doing what she thinks is right in order to win the election. Do you still consider Vice President Kamala Harris to be progressive, Senator? I do. That answer serving up fodder for Republicans. You got me to say something I think I've never said before. I agree with Bernie Sanders. Harris says her values haven't changed, but left the explaining to others. She supports universal health care for everybody, different ways to get there. Harris instead has focused on a contrast with Trump. The day before the debate, a new policy section on her website contrasts her own plans with those of the former president, plus an entire section on Trump's Project 2025 agenda. Trump has repeatedly disavowed it, distanced himself from it. I mean, you... and I said Republicans. That's something that Republicans support. So this is not um, anymore being cast as something that Trump embraces? You just get that straight. I'm not going to speak to the president, the former president on this, but that Republicans are pushing. It's a radical idea. Despite the distance there, the Harris campaign today took out a full-page ad in the Philadelphia Inquirer with the headline, Project 2025, Trump's Plan to Control You. Harris is focusing a lot on what Trump might say tomorrow night. He is not burdened by telling the truth. Even though she has new questions to answer, a 2020 ACLU questionnaire resurfaced. Harris saying she supports gender transition surgeries for detained immigrants and and federal prisoners paid for with taxpayer dollars. Harris also said in that questionnaire that she supports decriminalizing all drug possession for personal use. Her campaign didn't answer whether she continues to support these things, but said her positions now have been shaped by three years of effective governance as part of the Biden-Harris administration, Brett. Jackie Heinrich live on the North Lawn. Jackie, thank you.